Greetings and welcome everyone. Today we'll be discussing soil conservation as well as management. We'll be discussing the concept of soil degradation, the types of soil degradation, as well as the impact of soil degradation on agricultural productivity. Now, you will recall that on our previous lesson um, on resources, we mentioned that soil is a non-renewable resource. And why is that so? Why is that so? It's because that soil is a mixture of organic as well as inorganic matter. And it takes like thousands of years to form. So it may happen sometimes that the condition of the soil changes and also the soil loses its nutrients. And we call this um, this this process soil degradation. Therefore, soil degradation is the loss in the productive potential of the soil, and this sometimes can be a result a result of like human activities. And this is a wide sp spread problem in in South Africa because it threatens food availability and also other. Um, agricultural activities it, it, it threat, threatens the the agricultural productivity at large so the there are three types of soil degradation and I want us to discuss um, these these three as these may lead to the loss of quality and the first one that I want us to discuss is the physical degradation. Now, this type of degradation occurs when the structure of, of the soil is damaged. It includes soil erosion, soil compaction, and the most, the most common causes of compaction will include tractors, harvesting machinery, and also animals which may travel over wet soil. Then the second one that I want us to discuss is chemical de degradation. Now, with, chemi with chemical degradation, farmers use um, a range of chemicals to kill weeds and pests in the soil. So if these pesticides as well as herbicides are not applied correctly, the soil may be harmed. Now, this will lead into acidification, salinization, leaching, nutrient imbalance, and also the loss of nutrients in the soil. Then the third one that I want us to discuss is the biological degradation. And this can lead to the loss of organic um, content in the soil. So now I want us to discuss the loss, the loss of soil through soil erosion. So soil erosion basically is the physical form of de degradation. So when we talk of soil erosion, this is basically the loss of soil itself. When soil erodes, it can either be carried away by wind or by water. So those are the most common agents of um, erosion. And there are different types of erosion. Um, one of them is surface erosion. And this is where the top layer of the soil is removed. And the other one is a run of erosion. Now this is where a series of parallel ditches are formed in the topsoil. Then the other one that um, we, we, we have is donga erosion. Now do with donga erosion, um, there are deep ditches which are formed. So now what causes soil erosion? So Basically, soil erosion is caused by two factors. One, when, when the plant cover which protects the soil is removed. And secondly, when the slope of the land is too steep. Now, what does this mean? It means that the steeper the land, the greater the rate of, of, of erosion. 
So the causes of, of erosion may include plowing, overgrazing, deforestation, monoculture, as well as felt burning. Now, now that we have talked about the causes of soil erosion, what are the warning signs which one should look for when it comes to, to soil erosion? What do we look for when we suspect that um, the soil has been washed away? So when there is mud in a dam, this can be a result of soil that has been washed into the dam by flowing water. This, this is a result of um, soil erosion. And the other one is that there would be dust storms. So when it's dry, when it's dry and the soil is not held down by plants, any strong breeze will cause a dust storm. So this too results in the loss of soil, especially um, with the fertile topsoil. And also another warning sign is the background. Now with background, this is where plant growth is poor in that area uh, because the top layer of the soil has been removed by wind. So now I want us to look at the impact of soil degradation on agricultural production, S um, the effects of soil erosion. So soil erosion has three important effects three effects that we need to consider so that we, we can try by all means to prevent this um, type of degradation. So one, um, soil degradation will decrease the fertility of the soil. And also coming to the economic implications, soil degradation makes farming more expensive and also what it can do, it can damage the infrastructure and also the environment. Now this includes the dams of the farm, the rivers and all, all the way. Now, how do we then control soil degradation? How do we prevent? We make sure that we apply sustainable agricultural methods. We apply um, crop rotation. We, we practice contour farming, we practice mulching, and also we plant windbreaks so that we can protect our area or the area um, from wind. Now, these are, are just the few, are, are just the few um, techniques or practices that we can use to, to ensure that we control soil degradation. So just to summarize everything that we have discussed, we said that soil degradation is the loss in the production potential of the soil. We mentioned that soil degradation leads to a loss in soil quality and that the degradation of soil can be classified either by physical, um, as physical, chemical, as well as uh, biological. We also mentioned that there are three types of soil erosion. These include surface erosion, runoff erosion, as well as donga erosion. Um, we also mentioned that um, soil erosion can make farming even more expensive, and crop rotation is one of the methods which can be applied in order to control soil degradation. So. That's it for me, Asante Sana.